Hi there. One of my favorite North Austin suburbs is Cedar Park. And I feel like lately Cedar Park has been a bit under the radar simply because Leander, which is just north of Cedar Park, has taken so much of the media's attention because of all the growth that has been going on there. However, Cedar Park is the OG of the M FN North Austin suburbs, and it is fantastic. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Cedar Park. Before I start, I really want to encourage you to watch this video all the way to the end because there's a huge development happening in Cedar Park that I'm going to tell you about that I think is really impressive and not a lot of people know about. So watch this all the way to the end. I'm gonna tell you everything that I know about this. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor here in Austin, Texas, USA, World Earth, Tesla. And I work with people from all over the country and all over the world who want to relocate to Austin and also folks that are selling their home in Austin. If you want to buy or sell a home in Austin, contact me. My contact information is in the description below. Also, you can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call directly with me. Just follow the link in the description below as well. With that, let me begin my video. Alrighty, so if we look here on the map of Cedar Park, we can see that it spans, it's got kind of a weird shape to it. Um, it's located just north of Highway 45. Most of it is on the west side of Toll Road 183, uh, but it kind of spans a little bit west too to the other side of 183. Every time that I talk about a neighborhood, we always talk about the style of home that you can expect. And Cedar Park has a really wide variety and style of neighborhood as well as homes. For instance, there's one neighborhood called Shenandoah, which has no HOA and very few deed restrictions. I have seen a lot of different homes in Shenandoah alone. For instance, you can have a normal cute little home that was built maybe like in the 1980s. And next to it, you can have something that's bigger, potentially older, potentially newer, and that could have a trailer in the back. I've also seen horses in this Shenandoah neighborhood, which is totally cool. And then last year, one of my clients bought an adorable little bungalow right in the Shenandoah neighborhood. And with his home purchase, he got 42 chickens. So he's 42 chickens in the backyard in this neighborhood because there are very few deed restrictions. That's one example. <laughs> The way opposite end of the spectrum of the Shenandoah neighborhood, for instance, is Twin Creeks. Twin Creeks is also in Cedar Park. It is in a golf course community and it is bougie. You drive in, there's a big, beautiful Twin Creeks sign. At the main entrance, you can see that there's the golf course all along one side and there's always people golfing. And you go in and look through the neighborhood and the homes are very stately. The lawns are very beautifully manicured. There's flowers, there's plants, there's beautifully cut grass. It's just very scenic, very uniformed, and very organized. There's also another neighborhood that I really like in Cedar Park called Buttercup Creek. Buttercup Creek has taken off, I would say, in the last five or so years because there has been so much development and things to do around it. I've seen a bunch of homes in Buttercup Creek anywhere from, I'd say, the low 400 price range to maybe low 700 range. So there's quite a variety and span of price ranges there, but the location is fantastic. I have a client that's buying a home there, for instance, and the home is located 10 minutes away from Sprouts Market. Um, like 10 minutes walking though, not, I think it's a four minute drive. The point is it's a very conveniently located pocket of Cedar Park and Buttercup Creek is close to so much stuff to do. It's right by the Starbucks, right by the main grocery store, right by the ACC campus. There's also parks and walking trails and all this really awesome stuff going on over there. <music> I do these type of videos, I also like to share the price range of homes that you can expect in a city. So that's precisely what we are going to do. I've got MLS opened up here in my computer and I pulled up all the homes that have sold within the last 90 days in Cedar Park. The first home that I'm looking at was a home that was built in 1984. It is 1,306 square feet. The list price was $287,000 and it ended up selling for $284 thousand five hundred dollars looking at the photos honestly this house was a total disaster it looked like somebody started remodeling it and then probably just gave up halfway uh i wouldn't say it's necessarily habitable it also looks like they may have had some tenants that just left a bunch of stuff behind so safe to say that two hundred eighty five thousand dollars in cedar park buys you pretty much a fixer upper however if you can get a home in austin or within a 25 minute drive to the center of austin you are winning and coming out ahead because that is really rare that price range in that type of home is an 
an absolute unicorn. It hardly exists anymore. So whoever bought this $285,000 home here in Cedar Park, congratulations, they won. So now going to the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we're going to look at the most expensive home that recently sold in Cedar Park. This was a 4,836 square foot home that was built in 2007. The home sat on two and a half acres. Holy smokes, that is big. By looking at the photos, you can tell that the home has a three car garage and there's actually a guest house above the three car garage. So safe to say a garage apartment. There's also a pool and then there's also a pool house for the pool along with the main house. The home was super elegant, timelessly decorated, gorgeous finishes. I would say just a very comfortable living setup overall. This home had been listed for $1.8 million and it ended up selling for $1,812,000. Dollars. So that's what almost $2 million will buy you in Cedar Park. Even though Cedar Park is a suburb, there is a lot to do. One of the more famous parks I would say for like the North Austin area is Brushy Creek Park. Brushy Creek Park is on the east east side of Cedar Park. It's just on the edge of Cedar Park and like Round Rock in North Austin. So it shares a lot of different pockets over there, but it is absolutely beautiful. Brushy Creek Park has so many lovely amenities. There is a river running through it. There is pavement on either side so you can run, bike, walk, walk your dog, go for a walk with your kids. There's also a couple of playscapes for the kiddos. There's a splash pad as well during the summer. And there's just a lot of like neighborhood activities that go on there. It's super beautiful. It's really nicely maintained. And I always encourage my clients that are going to buy a home within a five mile radius of Brushy Creek Park that they go there before they buy their home so they can see the park that they have near to them. It's really lovely. Grocery stores and shopping. Oh my goodness. Cedar Park has a ton of really good grocery stores. To start with, there is the Lake Line HEB. I did a whole other video a couple years ago about Cedar Park where we talked about this HEB in a lot more detail. So I'm just gonna keep it kind of high level for, for this video, but that HEB is an HEB plus. It opened up, I wanna say about eight years or so ago, and it totally improved that portion of the neighborhood. When HEB develops in a neighborhood, Hood. Of course we have the grocery store, but then there's a bunch of other stuff that goes with it. So there's like nail salons over there. There's other stores, there's restaurants, there's coffee shops. They also have their own gas station. It's almost like a little village. And over there in that same little village, there's also an Alamo draft house, which is, I want to say a Texas based movie theater where you can go and order your food and watch a movie. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. This HEB plus is really fantastic. They have a nursery area where you can buy plants, uh, during the summer, I think you can buy like swimsuits there and like pool clothes and shit. I know, random, super random. But it's really, really great to have fantastic prices and wonderful variety. Another top notch place to go grocery shopping in Cedar Park is H Mart. I love the H Mart that we have in Cedar Park. It's so cool. It is an Asian grocery store where you can find food from all over Asia, which, which alone is wonderful. I personally think the cooler part is the fact that you go in and on the right side of the store, you can find the actual grocery store, but then towards the left side, you find all sorts of little restaurants with awesome and delicious Asian food from all over Asia. It's so cool. They also have a bakery right in that H mark, Tour Les Jours, which I mentioned in another video not too long ago. The variety of foods that they have in that food court is really great. They also have a large stage where sometimes they have live music or sometimes they'll just have like K-pop music videos playing and it's super cool. I love, love, love going there. And I have so many clients that ask me particularly about H Mart because they want to make sure that they are within a 20 minute drive of H Mart at all times. And I always tell them about the one in Cedar Park because it's 10, 10 out of 10 stars, it's dumplings. I don't, I don't know, it's fantastic. All right, so we have made it to the end of the video and I have this big reveal for you. It was a big reveal for you because it was a big reveal for me. You guys might actually already know this, but I recently found out about this and I was super excited. So, so follow along. So one of the main roads in Cedar Park is called Bell Boulevard. It's grown a ton over the last 10 years. It used to be just kind of like a farm to market road with nothing there. But over the last decade, there's been a ton of businesses and things that have popped up there. It's also expanded and it's gotten wider, so more traffic can go through, et cetera. 
What I recently found out, it's that there's going to be a huge development there called the Bell District. I'm very cautious to get too excited about this because I hear about these types of projects throughout all over Austin and they often do not come to fruition. However, it seems like this might actually come through. The Bell District is basically going to be a mixed use development with commercial and residential. So for instance, we have the domain, which is exactly that. The Bell District is going to have restaurants, bars, shopping, things to do, as well as apartments and places to live. I believe they're also going to have business offices. So we'll likely be seeing some of the big IT companies that are in Austin open a couple offices in the Bell District. Hopefully, if it happens. The other thing that's really cool about it is that they're going to have a big central park area where they're gonna have community events, people can go and hang out, kind of like there is at the domain already that's surrounded by restaurants where you see people hanging out like with their families and kids and going on dates, etc. If, if you look through the website here with me, you can see that there's a bunch of information about it already. This project was actually announced and approved by the city, I wanna say in 2019, and I believe it's been in development through that time. I'm looking here on the website and the anticipated opening day for the first phase is supposed to be in 2024. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. I don't know if it's like the first half of 24 or at the very end it might even take us to 2025. Either way, if they have an opening day in sight, I think that's a really good sign. Do you guys know about the Bell District? Have you heard of this? This was news to me. I think it's fantastic news. It's super exciting if that's actually something that's going to happen for the city of Cedar Park. So if you know about it, leave a comment. Would love to hear what you guys have heard about the Bell District. So that's it, you guys. That's all the information I have about Cedar Park. I hope you got some really good nuggets. That is all I have for you today. If you are thinking about buying or selling a home in the Austin area, you can always contact me. You can set up a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call directly with me. Just follow the link in the description. I am Daphne Quay, your boss lady realtor. Till next time.